They'll travel up that waterfall there. Really? They've got a mouth that they can suction onto it, and they'll travel in thousands. Up the waterfall? Up the waterfall. So this is your favourite pool? This is the pool. Yep. Once you start chasing them, yep. they're going to want to come and try their best to look like a log really? or just get well away from you by tucking in under the bank here. So you're going to have to fish around for it. So wait, around. there's no line, there's no rod, there's no bait. So the idea is what? You're going to use your hands, these slippery wee suckers. Stop it. Do they have teeth? Do they bite? They have teeth. They bite. Big fella like you, you'll be all right, though. That's cold. Was that something there? No. No, I just saw a bit of murky water suggest that something made that above us. Just here. Just here. Stop it. Can you see this? Quietly, quietly, quietly. Oh, That's a tree. <laughs> this is a hill. Don't let him get away. Both hands under his belly, and you're going to flick him up to me. You can do it. Both hands. Both hands at once. He's gone back under now. Where's he gone? Yes, I can see him. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm knee deep in the remote backwaters of New Zealand's Matukutuki Valley. Oh, damn. He's gone back under now. Attempting to catch freshwater eels. Gordon, we've got another one just beside you. He's a little bit bigger than the one we've just seen. That's not an eel, that's a tree trunk. No, this is an eel beside the tree trunk. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> now I can see him. Can, what if I use that stick yep. so that I don't get bitten and you catch him with your bare hands? <laughs> All right, no mucking around on this one, Gordon. You're going to lift it and throw it. Right. Oh, oh yeah, keep going, keep going. Just bring him out. Bring him out. Get him, boy! Get him! Oh, damn! They're so slippery. Right, where's he gone now? Don't move. I can see his spine in there. You, you've got to make sure that you can get him in such a way that you're supporting his weight. Yes. Because he's a big boy. Get your hands under there, sort of tickle him, have him relax. You've got him now, right? Totally committed to this. <laughs> Born ready. Let's go. Third time, Lucky. Come on. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yes! Good boy! Got him. Well, that is not small. <laughs> Gordon, you've done bloody well. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. My God. He's beautiful. I reckon he's a good 6 kg. That's insane. You know, he could survive out of water for days. Serious? If he had to. They make great pets. <laughs> you know, you can feed them in the... I'm just, <laughs> I'm just amazed. I'm amazed at the size of them. I'm amazed you kissed it. The Maori have been catching eels for hundreds of years. So put him back? Yeah, put him back. But according to tradition, you only take what you need. And since Jeremy has already an eel to eat, we're letting this beauty go. Koe te tuna kaimātua, kia roa hoki tō rangai koro tēnā koe. 